everybody, Ilan here. Today I come to you guys with another book review. And today I'm going to talk about What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. In this book we meet Ben and Arthur and they... And Ben is actually going to the post, of, post office um, to mail this package to his ex-boyfriend, you know, to return his stuff. And Arthur is just sort of out and about for his internship and he happens to stumble across Ben. And that's how they meet and, you know, shit happens from there. So first of all, this book is such a quick read. I pretty much read all of this book except 30 pages in one and the same day. So I mean, that was a very productive day. Um, but this is just written so beautifully and and sort of, it's not, I mean, it's not simple, but just gets, it's, get, you know, it gets meaning across very, very good. And it's so beautiful and I really loved it. And you could definitely tell um, the characters apart and you could all, almost kind of feel which character Bicky Albertelli wrote and which one uh, Adam Silvera wrote. And the, I really love the characters, not only Ben and Arthur who are our main characters, but also the minor characters like Ben and Arthur's friends were so much fun. And I particularly like Dylan because I feel like he had a lot of like inappropriate jokes and he was just so like high on life really. Uh, but also obviously all of their other friends as well and just I loved all of the characters obviously and uh, honestly and I really like the fact that even though this is a young adult book that their Ben and Arthur's parents were so involved because usually in the YA books you don't really see the parents a lot but they were definitely involved in these books and we got to see them a lot and that just really made it so much better. This was such an addicting read. Like I said, I just flew through it. And as always, uh, above everything else, when it's Becky Albertelli books, who I freaking love her books, um, but she always, always have Harry Potter references in her books. I mean, I've only read one by Adam Silvera, but I'm pretty sure there's some Harry Potter references in there too. Um, there was so much Harry Potter references and I love that jazz, obviously, because I mean, look at my shelves um but that definitely made it so much more fun and it just it's so cute and you can't help but love the story and it's, i like the fact that not everything is perfect i mean shit goes nuts all the time there's things not working and things go weird and people fight and you know it's not the perfect relationship nor the perfect like character based story or so to speak and that makes it so much more real and you connect more to the characters and it also makes the characters more real which is what I really enjoy about this book and it also what makes this book really hard to predict and you don't really know which direction the book is going to go and um, without spoiling I'm just gonna say that the one thing that uh, lowered the rating a little bit without spoilers <laughs> is the fact that I felt like I didn't really appreciate the ending as much as I would have liked um, but that's like the only thing and it's not like I didn't enjoy it at all. I did. I just would have liked to tweak some things. <laughs> uh, but overall, I really enjoyed this book. It was a quick read. I love the characters. I love the plot. And I love that the plot makes the characters so much human. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this book and I ended up giving this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. Mm -hmm.